Shuba Nation. I'm Jordan and I'm back with another Shoe Care Academy video. Now today I'm gonna be cleaning up one of the hottest sneakers of the year, the Panda Dunks. Now I've been rocking these and from what we see on social media, so have a ton of you. So I'm gonna clean these beat sneakers up with our essential kit today and I'll walk you through the steps on how to clean the most popular shoe of the year. Words of advice, don't get them this beat. But without further ado, let's get started. We went ahead and got our cleaning station all set up. Now, as I mentioned, we're going to be using our Rejuvenator Essential Kit for this cleaning, but we are gonna use a couple extra products. So we're using our cleaning mat to absorb all of the dirt, grime, and water from this cleaning, the drying rack and bowl combo to store our bowls and water, and our shoe trees to help with the creasing on this shoe. You can find all of these products at rejuvenator.com and use my link in the description to save 10% off. So now, for before and after purposes, we are only going to be cleaning the right shoe. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this left shoe aside and we'll get started. For the first step of this cleaning, I'm going to go ahead and remove these laces and set them in our bowl of water. And then I'll add our adjustable shoe tree to this shoe so that we can add as much pressure to this toe box as we need to when cleaning. Let's do it. Now that the shoe tree is inserted, we can apply as much pressure to the toe box as needed during this cleaning. For the first step of this cleaning, I'm going to be using our soft bristle brush to just dry brush off some of this loose dirt so that we don't create a muddy mess and make a disaster of this table and the sneaker. So let's get started. and knocked off most of that loose dirt, we're going to go ahead and add two squirts of our solution to our bowl of water, and then we'll get bubbly on this sneaker. Now, well, the materials on this sneaker are mostly leather, so it shouldn't be too tough to clean. However, I don't know if the sock liner or the black leather will bleed color at all, so I guess we'll find out together. Let's get it. As you can see, the soft brush did its thing. It got this shoe super soapy and took care of all of that surface dirt. And as you can see, this shoe is looking great. Now, there wasn't any bleed of color from the black leather onto the white, which was a concern, so that's great. For the next step of this cleaning, we're going to be using our medium bristle brush on the midsole of this sneaker, as well as on this tongue that is still looking super dingy. And then there's a little bit of deeper staining where the creases are on this toe box. So we'll take care of that using our medium bristle brush. all done using the medium brush on the midsole, some of the deeper staining on the uppers, and this tongue. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it down with our microfiber towel to see the results. Now there is some deeper staining from some heel drag and then a little bit of deeper staining right here on this midsole. So we're going to go ahead and use a trick using our microfiber towel to buff out those scuffs. But before I do that, let's talk a little bit about the Panda Dunks. Now they are the hypest sneaker right now. You see them all over SneakerCon, all over Disneyland, and StockX even reported that they've sold almost 20,000 pairs of these shoes. So where do you stand? Are Panda Dunks heat or are they hype? Let us know in the comments below. All right, I think we got all those deeper scuffs taken care of. So the last step is to hit this outsole using our stiff bristle brush. I am done hitting 
cleaning the outsole using our stiff bristle brush so this shoe is all cleaned up. Now one thing that I did notice when I was cleaning it was that the insole on the inside of this shoe is pretty disgusting. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this shoe tree and clean out that insole so that we can get a deep clean on these sneakers. shoe is clean down to the insole we're going to go ahead and let this sit outside to dry now we do recommend about 24 hours for it to dry but since we live in Arizona this shoe should be dry in no time so before I take this outside I wanted to talk to you guys about my thoughts on the sneaker I asked you for your opinion now it's my turn now I do really like this sneaker and if you hang out you can see exactly how I styled it it's neutral easy to style and it's just all around a nice shoe However, I definitely wouldn't pay the resale price that they're asking for these right now. Now, if they restock on sneakers for like the third time, I think, and I win, I'll definitely rock them every day, just like I did these. I almost forgot about my favorite part of this cleaning, the laces. These laces have been sitting in this water since we started. So we're just gonna go ahead and take them out, rub them between our hands, and they should be fairly simple to clean up. Now that the laces are all taken care of, I will go set this shoe outside. All right, I'm back. We went ahead and let this shoe dry for a couple of hours. And when we got it dry, we realized that there was some dirt still on this tongue. Now this is a super thick material, so it did absorb that dirt more than the leather. And it also does absorb some of the water. So we went ahead and flushed it out using our laundry system. And as you can see, this shoe cleaned up great. Now I'm just going to lace it up and we'll show you the before and afters and then we'll recap this entire cleaning. Now that the shoe is all laced up, let's go ahead and recap this cleaning. Now we used our Rejuvenator Essential Kit paired with our laundry pods and bags to make these results happen. We used the soft bristle brush on the entire uppers, the medium bristle brush on the midsole, the tongue and some of the deeper staining. And then we went ahead and hit this outsole using our stiff bristle brush. Then we let this set outside to dry and we realized that there was some deeper staining on this tongue. So we went ahead and used our laundry bag and laundry pods, flushed out all of that dirt and grime on a normal cycle with cold water and look at these results. Just a reminder, you can pick up all of these products at rejuvenator.com and use my link in the description to save 10% off. Also, don't forget to comment your thoughts on this shoe. Is it heat or is it hype? If you like today's video, hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys again soon in the next Shoe Care Academy video.